This is the Ag Network. Day and night, till the job is done, Teeter is the one that works for you. Fields of green, reaching toward the sun, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter is the one, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter Irrigation, your source for water management. Hi everyone, I'm Lori Williams. Here's your Ag News brought to you by American Implement. They are indebted to the past and they are committed to the future. Well, there's a new report by CoBank that says that oversupply and lower exports will continue to plague the U.S. agricultural industry for the remainder of 2016. And CoBank says that the strong dollar will continue to hamper the U.S. exports and the imports downward on the pressure from commodity prices. Now, the meat prices should also decline in response to what are expected to be record animal protein production levels. And dairy prices have not hit the bottom. They will continue to fall for the foreseeable future, according to that report. And we'll have more news coming up. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and high unemployment? Western Plains Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud partner of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and it keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. And in other ag news, two separate chicken processors are mulling some locations in Nebraska and in Iowa. The Omaha World Herald did not name the company, but it's reporting a global food company is interested in building a poultry processing plant on the eastern side of Nebraska at Fremont. Now, that could open in 2018 and employ 1,100 workers. Simply Essentials, LLC, a Kansas City-based processor, is considering restarting a processing plant in Charles City, Iowa. I'm Lori Williams. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation is proud to announce that they are the exclusive distributor for Cirrus Variable Frequency Drives, Soft Starts, and Controls. No matter if it's single phase or three phase, this one of a kind unit can regulate pumps and any other ag applications. Wolfter also stocks a first class parts department that features Baldor motors, durable plastic replacement irrigation tires, nozzle kits, and other irrigation and grain handling parts, and asked to see their lineup of Farm King augers. At Wolfter Construction and Irrigation, Colby and Leota.